never gonna leave, never gonna leave your side. Oh, never leave your side. Leave your side. Well, leave your side. All right, Shalom, Israel. It's your brother JD Nija. Just a quick one. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. Yahweh is our Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten of the Father who is going to deliver us from this hell, Paul. Um, and the Rakakudash is the Holy Spirit that is given to the men who know that the Bible is true, the men who know that Yahweh Shai is coming, the men who know that the UFOs are the chariots that are going to rescue us and destroy this wicked place. We're not messing around. You, Whoever doesn't believe in these words, good luck. Good luck. So I opened the Proverbs. And this is the pureness of God's word. Um, right here, verse, chapter 30, the words of Agur, the son of Jacob, even the prophecy, the man spake unto Ithiel, even unto Ithiel and Ukal. Surely I am more brutish than any man and have not the understanding of a man. I neither learn wisdom nor have knowledge of the holy. Man, how many people are like that in today's world? Most of them. You know, you can't talk, you can't talk about the Bible to anyone because everyone thinks that they, they have their own truth. You know what? They're going to find out the hard way that um, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the only truth. And if you don't know this word, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> who has ascended up into heaven or descended? This is how stupid he is. Who, who, is there any angels? Is there any heaven? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name if thou canst tell? Well, we know, the men of the Lord know it's Yahweh is his name and his son's name is Yahawashai. Let's see what it says about canst tell. Um, <laughs> funny stuff. This is the kind of stuff that makes you um, realize that people that don't have Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, <laughs> done. Know it. Um, I'll read that again. Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name and what is his son's name? If thou canst tell. In other words, if you don't know, it says, if you knowest not no if you do you know it or you don't know it if you don't know it you're probably like this agar guy that neither learned wisdom nor has knowledge of the holy holy let's look that up 33 30 and 3 is holy one that's the most high i'll keep going no use no use trying to explain anything because no one understands anyway because they neither learned wisdom nor have the knowledge of the holy um Verse 5, the key. Every word of Yahweh power is pure. Let's get pure. That means it is tried. Found pure. It's There's no other way to um, describe it except it's been tried and it is what it is. And if you don't know what pure means, it's there's nothing, there's no um, corruption in it. There's no... Um, disease in it there's no there's nothing that has tainted it he is a shield unto them that put their trust in him that's us that's the men of the lord that know the word that's why he's going to be our shield add thou not unto his words lest he reprove thee and thou be found a liar that's what these wacky tacky christians do they they've added on all this shenanigans and people gobbled it up like um like a, a hungry lion that hasn't eaten for a week. Um, two things have I required of thee. Deny me them, not before I die. 
Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. That means um, I'm not going to deny you. And I'm not going to ask for more than you give me. I'm happy with what you give me. Give me neither poverty or riches. Give me just enough food and covering to be convenient for me. Let's get convenient. Eight. 38 is from what you prescribe. Whatever is convenient for me is what the Lord finds convenient. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of Yahweh power in vain. Um, work with your hands. Take care of yourself. Don't steal. And don't take advantage of people so that you can get rich. And say, I don't need the Lord. Accuse not a servant unto his master, lest he curse thee, and thou be found guilty. There is a generation that curses their father and mother, and there is a generation that are pure in their own eyes, and yet not washed from their own filthiness. The word of the Lord is going out to the men of the Lord, and the one-third remnant. The rest of these people out here, it's over. They're already, they're already slated for destruction. And the men of the Lord are, are chanting down Babylon. We want this place to fail. We want this place to be destroyed. We're, we're not into it. We're not into their wickedness. We're not into their lies. We're not into their deceit. We're not into their um, court system, their laws, their justice. They, there is no laws. There is no justice. They need to go. They, we need to put everything back in order under Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And this is a quick seven-minute message for those who need it. For the rest of you, um, I don't know what to tell you. There's no way to turn turn some of these people around. Either you get it or you don't. The word of God, Yahweh power, is pure. Pure, pure, pure. There's nothing else to say. Shalom, Israel. J.D. Nijah out.